So if the government's prediction comes true, this will be the fifth consecutive year of normal monsoon. It was in 2018 when India saw deficient rainfall at just about 91% of the LPA. However, there are several key factors that can have an impact. Both government and SkyMet agree that El Nino-like conditions are likely. Government believes that El Nino is likely in the second half of the year and it will not have an adverse impact on the rainfall. Actually, from 1951 to 2022, the El Nino phenomenon was observed in 15 years. And out of these 15 years, we have had normal rainfall in six years. So an El Nino does not necessarily mean a deficient rainfall. Another point to note is the spatial distribution of rainfall. For example, last year we saw monsoon at 106%. It was above normal. The month of July in last year saw the highest rainfall in nearly 17 years. But despite this, rainfall in India's eastern and northeastern regions was 12% below normal. In UP and Bihar, it was 30% below normal. And let me conclude by explaining why rainfall is so significant to India. The Kharif crops like rice, cotton, maize, soybean, corn and many more are heavily reliant on monsoon. In fact, Kharif crops account for nearly half of India's agri-basket. So normal monsoon is absolutely essential for the agri-sector and economy at large.